<laughs> All right, it was the messiest game show on TV. Then it was the messiest game show on the road. Now, Double Dare Live is heading to the Smith Center. And of course, the show's legendary host, Mark <laughs> Summers, is coming too. We are so excited yes. to have Mark Summers, the man himself, with us today. Thank you. This has been going on for quite a while. Yeah, I, I, we started the show October 6, 1986. So wow. it's been on for more than 30 years. And we initially toured it for about eight years back in the day, uh, 40 personal appearances a year. And when we brought the show back, back uh, two years ago, I silly comment saying, why don't we take this back on the road? And sure enough, we got a lot of people who said yes. So uh, we've been out for uh, a little over a year. We've done about 60 of these things. And I'm wrapping it up. We're doing uh, the Smith Center on the 20th at 630. Yes. We're doing LA and Phoenix before that. And then we do an East Coast run. And then I'm done. Uh, it's been a great run. But uh, it's time to slow it down a little Not bit. Not done for good. No. We cannot say goodbye right. to Mark Summers. Right? <laughs> that's very good. You'll do something else, I will right? do something else. I have a new okay. uh, Discovery uh, show that's uh, popping up next year. But but I've been at Food Network for the last 20 years. Yes. And, you know, first at Nick and then uh, at Food. And, and uh, you know, I've been working for four. I started off as a professional magician. And then I was a stand-up comic at the Comedy Store with Dave and Robin and Jay and all those guys. And so I've had several lives. But certainly the thing that people seem to remember most is, is Double Dare and, and uh, Unwrapped from Food Network. Well, now I would have a million follow-up questions to your <laughs> days of stand-up comedy with those names. Oh yeah. But when you started the whole Devil Dare thing, did you possibly imagine, or could you have imagined at that time, that it would still be going and be so popular? Not in a million years. But I have two generations now. The people who grew up watching it have kids the same age they were. Mm -hmm. So it's cool when they come to the show. And the whole first half of the show, we do grown-ups against the kids. <laughs> and the grown-ups seem to have more fun than the kids bet, do because yeah. they're reliving. <laughs> their childhood right. and saying, I always wanted to do a physical challenge, and now they're getting the opportunity. It's so true. I mean, I did. I grew up watching this show. I remember with my neighbor friends, and we just wanted to be on it so bad. And my favorite thing, I wanted to pull the flag from the giant nose. Nose, of course. Of course. Did, you, did you have a favorite kind of challenge or something that you all did? Uh, Pickett seems to be the one that everybody wants to do the most. <laughs> Uh, we had a giant gumball machine that you would slide down as one of the obstacles. That yes. was fun. But you said you were from, you were from Pittsburgh, and yes. I think the very first personal appearance we ever did was with KDKA yes. back in the Pittsburgh, and it was like 1987 or 88. Oh and my I played gosh. some outdoor theater. I remember it was it was crazy. But uh, we've been doing this, you know, forever, and it's been so much fun. And there's not many shows where moms and dads and kids right. can go together and right. have fun, and that's what we're providing. If it makes you feel any better, I did not grow up watching you. I was. <laughs> <laughs> so, just, but I do wonder uh, how it works. Like, if people go to the Smith Center, um, you, pick them. Uh, you just like random. I go down to the audience. About eighty people we select. First, we do physical challenges in Act One, Grown Ups Against the Kids. Then we do something from another show I did called What Would You Do, mm -hmm. where we yes. play musical pies. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is like my time. I'm having the best time. Oh, this is great. You gotta come. <laughs> and so we do musical pies and get a lot of people messed up. And then we select four families from the audience, uh, reduce it down to two, and then we play Double Dare as you see it uh, on television with physical challenges. And then somebody runs the obstacle course. And if they do all eight obstacles in 60 seconds or less, we give them $1,000 right there. So it's just uh, I have a ball. I laugh. Oh. I can't believe I get paid right? to do this. You oh, know? that's so fun. It's pretty cool. So anybody who buys tickets could be... Could be on. Yeah, you have to register. If you go online to DoubleDareLiveTour.com, okay. you have to register because if you come in on stage, they give you a band right, and right. So all that kind of stuff. And that way, if you fall and hurt yourself, it's not on us. <laughs> <laughs> You've released us. It's a farewell tour anyway. You're out. That's You're all I'm done. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Thank you so much for coming in. So it nice to meet so you. Nice Hope to see you It is great you. having you here. Sure. Thank you. You. October 20th. Do not miss it. Nickelodeon's Double Dare Live again at the Smith Center. For tickets, go to smithcenter.com. Oh.